All right. What's up, Facebook? Um, all right, I'm just going to do this. Um, pretty tired. Uh, I haven't, what is it, like almost 10 o'clock, haven't slept yet. Um, wow, cool stuff this week. Um, we just did, uh, stayed up late. Uh, my friend in Australia, um, we did, uh, we were doing, well, actually somebody did a, did a, a post from the UK asking if any of us could see the moon. And, uh, sure enough, it was, it was straight up here, just as bright as can be. And he was getting it in the morning over there. And my friend in Australia, uh, we got her on and she was able to snag the moon up, uh, I don't have the times in front of me, but uh, it popped up uh, what almost mid, uh, noon her time, and it was still visible here. Uh, very visible. It was probably in like the three o'clock position, <laughs> and she's seeing the moon in Australia. So, um, so we got that out of the way. That done. Okay, so as far as the flatter stuff, um, that is impossible to do on a globe. Because if you put a globe, like, right here, like, USA and Australia are literally on the opposite sides of the, this, the spinning ball thing. Um, so we got that out of the way. And then just to add a little bit more to it, we had somebody pop in from Sweden. Um, as we were finishing this up, so we had Sweden, Australia, and then right here in Utah, uh, all seeing the moon at the same time. So, there you go, there's your flat earth, the sun and the moon, ultimate proofs of flat earth. So, I just want to, you know, to, to all those people out there just kind of like weird about it, just kind of like, we're all crazy and stuff, um, it, it's, it's far from it, and and the more angry somebody gets, like when you mentioned flat earth, that's how programmed they are to, to, to believe that they're on a spinning ball. And there's, there's just no other way around it. Um, you can use the science, the maths, the textbooks, the Neil deGrasse Tyson, the, uh, I forget their names, the science guy, um, whatever. Um, it's all a comedy show, man. <laughs> It's all a comedy show because the, the the moon is it's is it's God's creation, and you can't you can't change that. So we just proved that tonight. Um, <clears throat> the other news was I took the P1000 down to Canyonlands, uh, did the zoom tests, found a mountain range that shouldn't be visible, and so that's I did a, a video on that. Got some of the sun showing the sun's not. 93 million miles away, it's just, you zoom in on it, you can see it right there in the video, it's just right there, right next to the clouds, it's not, it's not even past the atmosphere, um, low earth orbit, whatever you want to call it, so we got that done, um, and then I'm, I got my P900 infrared modified tonight. So that's ready to go, and um, looking forward to doing a trip down through the Grand Canyon, uh, the whole scenic tour, um, using the, the IR-900 to look out over the Grand Canyon. And obviously nobody, uh, nobody on this plane Earth has done that yet, so I'll be, we'll be the first ones to, to go and play around with the, the 900 and the... <laughs> And the 1,000, um, so, so much fun stuff, man, so, anyway, just makes me happy, we had a really killer camping trip down in Moab, and finally actually see the sky for, for, for what it really is, like, you can see the stars, like, they're not far away, you can see the moon, it's like, almost you can touch it, it's all cool, you know, totally sober the entire trip, um, 
So it was a super good time, like three three days of just, just heaven. And uh, and then to come back and have all this just kind of fall into place. The energy is super high. I don't know if all the rest of you are feeling this, but um, energy is way high. I mean, especially Brandon Daly. He come back from Honduras on his whole thing, so we'll have to see what he's got for us. He's always, he's always got cool stuff. So um, anyway, so I've been up for... 24 hours officially, maybe a little more, and just thought I'd chime in and and uh, give everybody updates. And uh, you know, y y if you know anybody, you got kids or whatever, anybody dabbling in the flat earth stuff, man, they're everybody's starting to figure this out. It's just it's a matter of time. And all the goofy stuff they do on the television shows, trying to sh shut it down. The censorship on YouTube is through the roof right now. Like, they are doing everything they can, damage control, to try to contain this. And it's just not working. People aren't buying the NASA stuff anymore. The, the younger generation, at least what I'm seeing, is fed up. They're pissed. They're pissed at being lied to. They're pissed about the chemtrails. They're pissed about the 5G that's coming around. They're pissed about all of it. They don't want to get jobs. They're so goddamn pissed. At least that's the that's most of the chatter. I, I help moderate the largest forum on on Facebook that discusses uh, both sides of flat Earth and the globe and whatever. And it's it's the same it's the same cookie cutter questions that the evidence the globe brings. It's the same stuff we were taught in school. Okay, nothing has evolved with the ball. It, it, it's the same. Thing. Same third grade stuff. Anybody can regurgitate it. It's it's literally Santa Claus as an adult. You tell them the Earth is flat, and they want it. No, no. It's it, you know it's it's a ball. And well, how does this work on flat Earth? How, what about the satellites? What about how would they? Why would they lie? How could everyone be in on it? Well, how is everyone in on the Santa Claus joke? Okay. It didn't stop. This is just an extension of Santa Claus. You tell them Santa Claus isn't real. What about the reindeers? What about the elves? What about Mrs. Claus? What about at the North Pole? Well, guess what? The Flat Earthers just went to the North Pole with their cameras and they couldn't find Santa Claus. So there's no Santa Claus, guys. So that means everything else goes away. There's no proof of Santa there's no proof of the reindeers. It's the same thing with a flat earth. There's no proof of the ball. There's no curve that can be measured. We've been asking for years. Nobody can find any curve. If there's no curve, a sun can't set. It goes away. So these are basics. And so the moon test tonight, and this wasn't the first. This, is, this has happened uh, there's been a few dozen already this year. So one, one, one time they got four different countries all filming the moon at the same time. So this is nothing new. It's just this is the first time I got to participate in it. Um, so uh, anyway, so um, probably do some more tomorrow night. I don't know uh, if not the next month. Uh, it's never going away. It's a repeatable test that anybody can do. Um, anytime if you got a buddy in another country, just get him on the phone and just say, Hey man, you know, grab your camera and show me what you got in the sky. Let me see if you've seen the same thing I am. As chances are, you probably, probably will. So, um, yeah, flat earth, man, there's a lot more to it than, than just the shape of this thing. The, the first thing you need to know is it's not what they told us. So when you understand you know they might be fibbing with politics and and the cnn is covering another fake news story keeping everybody entertained because that's their job okay so so all of this is going on but when you break it apart that they actually lied about where you live when you buy your dream home you know exactly what you're getting right and if all of a sudden one day that dream home, it's not what you got. It's something different. Then it's just like, well, then what is it? What is it if it's not 
It's not my dream home. Hmm. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We're proving. We're proving that that everything in school, the spin. Nobody feels any spin. Why do we think we're spinning? Nothing. Nothing spins. Helicopters can hover over the ground for hours. Earth don't spin. It's all basic. So, anyway, you got you got somebody around you that's doing flatter chatter. Be nice to them. Be nice to them because a lot of them. In fact, see these recent false flags. A lot of them knew that these were gonna that these false flags were gonna go back to back. It's a pattern that they do. Like we're calling stuff left and right. Like the the, the fake news stuff. We you get that that vision you can see right through all this stuff. I mean the Feinstein the. the uh, I'm not gonna go there. It's all it's all just theater, guys. The world's a stage, and um, you can discount nature all day long, but nature proves it. God made this place, and man turned it into a giant corporation. That's all it is. It's a corporation. So, anyway, I'll have a good Sunday, and until next time, see you later.